Hi, Mark. Hello, I was Kama. wondering if you could tell me what's a good pitch as far as you're concerned? Like, if an entrepreneur is going to pitch to you, what really makes you sit up and take Well, let me say a couple things. There's two different kind of pitches. There's a pitch where you have someone's attention for three minutes, yeah. and that three minutes might go to ten. Yeah. And then there's a formal presentation that might be mm -hmm. half hour, might be an hour or whatever. And so let me separate those. Okay. In a three-minute pitch, you got to get right to the meat. You can't, like, people have such a long lead in and by the time you're gonna tell me all this important stuff I've already turned around and been pulled off by somebody else so you need to immediately talk about what you do okay. here's the problem we're solving here's how we're solving it here's our background you need to speak fast and you speak loudly you need to have enthusiasm you need to capture people's attention okay. you need to be captivating okay. and the problem is a lot of people they just mouse around yes. and if I don't get it someone else tugs me away I'm yeah. Gone. Yeah. so that's it and you know I like to call it a cocktail party pitch okay. and the cocktail party pitch needs to stop after three minutes and you need to check okay would you like to hear more okay you don't want to bore people to death they're no. at a cocktail party right yeah, like yeah, some yeah. people want to talk to you for 20 minutes it's the same thing when you see someone who gets off the stage after speaking at a conference. Yes. Their expectation is you're saying hi for three minutes and then the next person, the 20 people in line say hi. And some people just sit there forever and you gotta grab them and you gotta move them yeah, off to the side. Yeah, yeah. So people need to understand that. Okay. Let me talk about a formal pitch. So okay. I had a guy come in yesterday, or two days ago, so this yep. is a great example. Yep. And he spent so much time up front giving me the 50,000 foot pitch on his industry. Yep. Trust me. We've seen every pitch in your industry before. We get your industry. We just, that's what we do as professionals. Yeah, yeah. We see all these pitches all the time. So try to get through that stuff quickly. And if people are giving you signals that, okay, okay, I got it. I got, you can't, you've got to pull an audible. Okay. You got to move faster. Okay. And then, so what happened was he had 35 minutes with two of our partners. Then my other partner left. And I said to him, you bombed. Like, that didn't go so well. Like, why didn't you talk about customer traction? Why didn't you talk about usage? You're not a pure startup. Like, let's talk about customers. Yeah. So then he started flipping the slides, and he showed slides in the deck that were um, really detailed and had uh, lots of metrics in them. And I said to him, like, why didn't you, why didn't you pull those out? Right? Like, get to the meat. So. You really need to move fast to the high level stuff. People want details. So a good pitch has got to start with what problem am I solving? Who has that problem? You've got to be able to articulate why your solution solves that problem. And you've got to be able to talk about your market, the market size, how you differentiate from competitors. Get quickly to a demo. In an in-person meeting, if you can show a demo, that's golden. So yeah, absolutely. So um, you know that's my suggestion. and. If you have an hour, plan to get through it in 20 minutes. Okay. There's two reasons for that. Okay. One is VCs are always late and they always leave early. Yeah. So you have to assume you only get 20 yeah. minutes. Yeah. And for those that are not badly behaved, their attention span lasts about 20 minutes. Yes. Um, so if you get through it in 20 and then you can have a 40 minute discussion. But I always tell people the best VC pitches are discussions. If you are talking and talking and talking and you feel like it's almost a sales meeting, you failed. Okay. If the VC is not asking you questions, it means they're not engaged. Huh. The easiest thing for a VC to do, if they're not interested, is just let you spend 40 minutes talking. They said, thank you, we'll talk at our partner meeting on Monday. You failed. So you really want them engaged. Yes. And if they're not jumping in and asking questions, yes. you need to ask them questions. Okay. So you could say, well, this is how we're thinking about approaching the market A, B, and C, and you know, it's an unusual way of, uh, of addressing the market. Um, what do you think? Have you seen other people do this? Yeah. Get them talking. Yes. And as you could probably tell from this interview, people like hearing themselves talk. <laughs> and so the more you get them talking, I think the better they're going to yeah, feel overall. Right, right. And is there a pitch that you, someone has brought to you that really stood out? Like a remarkable you know, pitch? I get one every two or three months that rises above everyone else. And I will tell you the secret. Yeah. And it's really hard to do and explain. Yeah. It comes down to one word narrative. Narrative. You need to create a story and the story arc and it has to it has to seem compelling so you know it might be listen I'm gonna tell you the story of why video online didn't work five years ago it didn't work because you didn't have these factors in the market but then this happened and then this happened 
Now you had the introduction of X. The price points came down to Y. People tested and experience, experimented, and then the audiences came. And then you had this new change in technology. And those things all together have led to the point where we now think there's a huge market. And you kind of build the story. And I think it's really important in how people understand and digest information. Oh, that's fabulous. Thank you so much. No problem. <laughs>